How's it going? Welcome back. We're getting a little late start here. We're going to be working on Scott's truck, but a package just pulled up. So let's move these vehicles out the way real fast and show you guys these packages. Sorry for the rush, but I do want you guys to see this new reveal. So let me go move this Evo. All right, so the Evo is parked along with the Challenger, along with the Lexus. We have his car sitting there and the package has arrived. Oh my God, those are huge. Damn. So as you can see, they are a set of four of something. What something that is, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna wait for the FedEx guy to bring them in the garage and we'll have Scott unwrap them. Okay, so as you can see, they some tires. Now once he gets done unwrapping and everything, we'll take him down because it actually has a wheel inside of it. Comment down below which wheel you think is in there though. Here, you shit down. Ready, bro? Nope. Ah! Oh shit, bro! <laughs> you went fast! Hey, bro. Just like on my shirt. <sighs> shit. Damn! The motherfuckers are big, bro! Big Yo! So, before I show them the wheels, what is your reaction? These shits are huge. Bro, that's up to your hip. No. You think they're ready to see it, bro? I don't think they're ready, bro. They're not ready. I thought you're gonna have to wait till after. All right, all right. We'll make them wait till after. Bet. This is all y'all get to see for right now. Can they at least know the specs? Or are they gonna have to wait till that, too? They're gonna have to wait for everything at the end. All right, bet. Okay, so while Scott gets those wheels ceramic coated, I'm gonna go ahead and get his truck lifted up onto the ground. I'm mean, gonna onto these jack stands and get these tires off. Now, mind you, I don't own big jack stands or even a big jack, so we went and borrowed it. So, shout out to Cats for helping me with that. And let's go ahead and get this in the air. So, with this right here, we have a six inch lift, six and a half inch lift. But yet, yeah, here it all goes. He upgraded to the Fox shocks. These damn things are massive as hell right here. And here's all the other components and stuff to do it. Luckily, they all came with instructions, but I went to the school of the University of YouTube, so we're not going to use any instructions, and we're just going to get this done. Hey, Dad Rice guy. Hello. Oh, yeah. So, tires and everything off, too. Uh, it's about as high as we can go right now. This is what it all looks like. I'm pretty sure this is going to be easy. Take all this plastic off. Once the plastic get out of there, go ahead and take this shock, this spring out, and I believe this has to come out and possibly this one but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start getting that cracking right now get both sides done and i'll catch back up with you guys when it's all undone in the meantime in between time scott will be sitting here going over the directions stuff just in case i mess up somewhere you know someone gotta read directions right all right so we've been in here a while scott actually ran to the store but i'm gonna update you as far as we got so this is not connected with anything it's just there for the pressure that spring There'll be a bolt on top here to take out the shock and down below. You'll disconnect this brake line here and there. I put the bolts back inside. You'll also disconnect this ball joint right here to the go to the stabilizer. Um, what Scott went to the store for is because we need to pull this off along with it also on the other side. Now mind you, everything I did on this side, I repeated on the opposite side, which is the passenger side. And uh, there's a bar that goes across here. I also took this off on both sides, as you can see. But right over there, sorry it's too dark, but it's over there. And so far we're getting it in. All the pieces and stuff are sitting out. And now we're about to take this apart because I can't take that link off. So I'm just gonna move on to this until Scott get back, which is why this is right here, and get that installed. Now it'll be one, two, and three, mind you, as soon as you take this off, this whole front axle is going to move. So you might want to brace it, which I did. I put my jack stands, two of them over there, because I started on that side first, and my jack is holding it. Yes, it looked like it's halfway on, and that's because since it's at a slope, I have it on the edge right here on this ball. It's not that much secure, but as soon as it comes down, it's going to drop. I don't mind it dropping as long as this whole front axle doesn't drop. We took a little break to review our notes from the University of YouTube. So as we do that, I'll show you guys what we have done so far, which really ain't much more, but it's something. As you can see, the shocks are in, 
the spring it is a little crooked but that's just because we have this uh axle all the way down that's installed um only thing we need to do is the bump stop on this side and this will legit be good to go uh right now we're about to put in these dual spring compressors or dual uh, shocks right here dual shocks right here and we're also trying to figure out how it's supposed to go pull this link back down and hook it up that'll be good to go so the front will be done we'll probably finish the front tonight and we're gonna do the rear tomorrow so continue to keep watching and you guys will see the install it is the next day scott and i are tired we're about halfway done there was a few things we needed from the store so we couldn't continue last night we called it a wrap around 12 o'clock and it is about 7 right now in the morning and we're heading to lowe's to get a few pieces how you feeling this morning bro my face says it all yeah i'm tired too bro all right we're gonna go to the store and we'll catch you guys when we get back all right so we had to come and take this off and the school of hard knocks youtube didn't teach us so we kind of cheated on our test and cut it off so that's yeah we kind of cheated on our test and we cut it off which is not bad because we have a replacement one right here that we're going to install which is going to go up right over there and after that one gets connected, I believe everything should finally flow on. We couldn't do it last night because we could not make any noise after 10. But now it's the morning time and we're good. Also, inside this bushing right here, we have to take this off. And there will be a piece for us to cut off that's extra. And I guess we'll shorten this. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off right now and shorten it. And once it gets off, I'll show you exactly where it went on at and why we cut it. This is the piece right here that the instructions say to cut off. So we're going to hopefully cut this off and it should come in some more. Time for the final reveal, bro. I mean, we did put the stock wheels back on just because it's kind of raining right now. And the truck's not clean, so he doesn't want to put his new wheels on yet. So, do you want to do the honors of lowering it or you want me to lower it for you, bro? Okay, that's all you. All right. She thick, boy. Yeah, she's a little high. Little high. Damn. <laughs> Shit is big. <laughs> How's it going, Scott? <laughs> you want my eyes to fail? Yeah. Hey, bro, that's really close. No shit. <laughs> Man. So what they didn't tell us that there is no way to get off. Well, I lied. There is a way to get the struts off in the back, but it's not working for us. The whole tube should spin. And we had no chisel, no nothing. So Scott literally has to sit here and saw everything off. Which kind of sucks, but um, he's a beast and he got it, so I'm going to leave him to it. We're almost done with the rear. It came out a lot faster than the front. It's just a lot more handiwork than the front did that uh, Scott is doing right now. So, yeah. What you looking for, bro? I'm trying to figure out what the camera was doing. <laughs> <laughs> really? You were looking all over just now. I couldn't see it. I'm going to oh, yeah. right here. Sorry, bro. <laughs> He is not in it right now, y'all. Scott's tired. So hopefully you can hear me over Scott uh, sawing, but we added in a spacer right here. This is the new coil, uh, coil or spring for the rear. Also, we added this new link right here to the sway bar. And uh, this is also new. So this was usually bolted down right here, but this is a bracket that's supposed to adapt it to keep the differential, I guess, centered and so you know same thing replicated on that side besides this bracket this bracket stayed right here and everything over there got replaced um connect up struts connect up back one of those brake lines over there we took down exactly right there and this should be able to drop back down onto the floor uh i have it pretty low right here because it was hard to put these struts in there we actually had to figure out a way to pry up there to put the top in and put the bottom bushing in and after that it was pretty easy sailing yeah scott's getting back to work 
But uh, the most part that we did today was um, a lot of store runs. Lots of store runs. Uh, first thing we did this morning was go to the store because we couldn't finish the fronts. Finally finished the fronts and now we're uh, running to the store at least four times today. So just know, unless you want to do this job, you'll be running to the store a lot unless you have all the tools at home. We are back and we are finally finished now. And here is the reveal on the six and a half inch lift kit. Still with stock wheels on right now, but we are getting ready to change out to the regular set, which is his new set. But we just want to see what the difference looks like as is. And here it goes. Let's compare it to how it looks to Scott. Scott, how tall are you? 5'11". 5'11". So this is 5'11 on a six and a half inch kit. And how si what's the size of your stocks? Uh, 33s. 33s? This, I can barely see over. This is about eye level with me. This right here, I'm about to hit. And back here, yeah, I can still kind of see back there. Earlier in the video, I asked you guys to guess what wheel size it is. I meant what wheels these were. And hopefully you took a guess. But right now, I'm going to finally reveal the wheels. So they are, these are TIS 544s B and M. Scott went ahead and got these 24 by 14s wrapped in some trail blade bosses. They all got these knife marks on the side of them, which is supposed to rep this supposed to be the handle, this supposed to be the knife blade, which we saw online, they're supposed to give you a blade with these wheels, but uh, we don't see no blade so far. So, hey, whoever owns these wheels, the company, we're missing a knife. While Sack go ahead and rolls out his new wheel, we can compare it to his old one, Ugh, of right here. First off, you wanna hold this one too, bro? Appreciate it. Look at the size difference on those. Those are massive. And over here from the side profile also. So the truck's already gonna be raised up from this level to that level alone by just the tires and wheels. Now, let's see him on the truck. So Mr. Scott, how do you like the outcome of this truck? I don't know, I might have to go up a little bit higher, but we'll see. A little higher? Can we, can we get you standing next to your side mirror so we can compare from the front of the video? Man, go any higher, you gonna walk under the goddamn thing. Yeah, Is that what you wanna do? You wanna be able to walk under it? I can walk under now, you know what I mean? Man, we can't even see straight across this. What if we gotta work on the engine? What's gonna happen when we delete it? What you mean, you can stand under it. Under it? Man, this thing is massive. Massive. I like it though. So if I was to have to get any truck, I definitely would get a diesel and it'll be a Cummings just like this. Maybe not this new, because I can't afford that kind of lifestyle, but I like this lift kit. And if you guys like this lift kit too, remember it is a zoned lift kit. It's a six and a half inch, plus is 24 by 14s, uh, 34s, right? Is it on 34s? 38. My bad, oh shit, don't let me say that again. It was on 38s, 24 by 14 on his 38s. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy Levon and Scott, and we're out of here.